Hey there, everybody, and now welcome to the show. Oh, no. We have to deal with these long hands. It's terrible. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This conversation would have been done in 10 minutes. I'm just dragging this out. Yeah, I can't believe it. That's right. Now, do you all have concerns about the translator, about her parking and a ticket? Well, here's some more images proving that she's all nice and fine. Hey, this, this is our show. So, how are you coping, translator? Fine. Well, buy that ticket on your motor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you prefer a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, because it's Italian, or do you like German vehicles? Lamborghini. Well, next time, buy one of them instead of a bloody Porsche, or what? <laughs> right. Yeah. As you can all gather, she's doing okay. Not like these damn gone idiots where they come mold racing. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that pro dumb. How many views have you had on them? So, which one is the best commode? Especially for the new sport that's coming out. Commode racing. Alright? Well, I actually prefer the one behind. Which one's I the... prefer this one. It doesn't wheel away. And it does this. And it does this. What the hell? And it does this, but you have to demonstrate with your foot on it. So, it does this! Just making me feel like I want to go to the toilet. Just like the rest of this damn gone show. Here, here it is. Oh no. I have to interview one called Captain Pervert. That name in itself says everything, doesn't it? Oh no. Yeah, but the thing is though, he's dead. You oh, oh. He's alive to my knowledge. Oh no, we saw him get killed by that red killer car. You know, he, got, he was chasing him and all that God. That's right, we all saw that happen, you know. Yeah, oh yeah, oh my brother's a big egg. Back a little bit more, Yeah, that's right, brother, I'm still alive. Yeah, that car ain't that smart. Yeah, it is. 
What? Hey, that car was a bit stupid. I went in the ocean and it followed me. I know, seen it since then. Yeah, well, I hope the paint did wash off. You what? I mean, hey, Al, uh, uh, isn't it nice to hear me chaps, isn't it? I suppose it is, yeah. Well, my car's a different shade of red. <sighs> it's your car! It's the only red one in existence, so it can't be any other shade of red as it's the only red one. If you purchase a standard beige one, there would be grounds for argument, but there's only one only one shade of red as it's the only blooming red one. And paperwork trail is a short one leading to you, so drop this silly claim of it being another murder weapon. Your denial of this simple fact casts it a shadow of suspicion in your involvement with these murders or someone you know. You do know it's illegal to withheld evidence or worse be an accessory to murder. Look, I told you it's a different shade of red. But, well, I just realised. Accessory? That's for women. I'm not a, I'm not a handbag. What you getting at? She doesn't mean that, you bloody idiot. She did accessories I mean something else as well. Accessories mean be women having handbags, and that's what she's getting at. She's being sexist against me. Or could she be sexist against you? Well, the thing is, I keep telling her it's a different shade of red. Well, you were just telling me that it, uh, what you were worried about the paint washing off it. No, I didn't. It's a totally different shade of red. Sir, you wouldn't be worried about the paint coming off it if you didn't think it was your vehicle. No, I said it's a different shade of Sir, red. Sir, it can't be a different shade of red. There was only one made in this red and white. No. It's not the beige standard one, so drop the act. You interrupted, sir, by saying it's not your murder weapon again. No! You do this on a regular basis every time I'm ready to interview the rest of the stars of the show. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we stars are now. Hey, that's right. Wait on, wait on. Well, yeah, well, you're just a newbie. Hey, I'm in the show, though, aren't I? Yeah, you newbie. And anyhow, we want to talk to a woman. You categorize. You're interrupting. You You know, it's the first time I've got a woman who wants to speak to me. And you come along and start ruining it. Who cares about a woman talking to you? I mean, she wants to talk to me. Now that they're sunny. No, she's just horrible to me. And she's got something against me. Because she's just picking up my car with a different shade of red. Again, sir, I'm starting to get feel quite tedious about you saying that it's a different shade of red. It isn't, sir. It's the only one. You're either beyond comprehension. You're either beyond comprehension, sir, or you're acting. It's one or the other. Uh, I will speak to producers and get you suspended from the show as you interrupt interviews with the other stars of the show. Every single time. I don't. I mean, what's her problem with her? She's got something against me. I don't care if she's got something against you. Or she might be talking to me. What? And now you just come along and ruined it. I mean, I can't have anything without you ruining it. Who gives a hell about anybody ruining it? I keep telling everyone it's a different shade of red. Sir, the only thing that we know for certain it is your murder weapon. It's not a murder weapon. And you act, and you acting like this, sir, makes it look like you're the murderer. No. Or at least you know the murderer. No. And if you don't cut this out, I will also have to send a letter, a formal letter to your mum, to request her support in your suspension until my investigations are complete. And if your mother fails this, I will get Rockstar. 
I will get Rockstar and Sony to suspend your account until further notice. If you keep logging on and interfering with the other presenters testimony of this show It'll be more than the naughty corner, sir. This is serious. This isn't some childish show that you're presenting. This is illegal. It's him what's making it childish. Yeah, you tell him though. What, no, darling? What this sweetheart? Nice one. Don't be sad in my And you can knock off the sweetheart. I didn't say it! Why am I going to go to the MP4 now? I know it wasn't you that said sweetheart. Yeah, I told you it's a different shade of red. It is not a different shade of red. Say for your own time, every time I keep saying it, just keep saying it. Right, that's it, sir. I'm writing a formal Don't letter to your mum. Mum, please. Yeah, tell his mum. I like him, though. He's funny. Sir, you are going to be quiet then and let me talk to Mr. Pervert. Yeah, boys. Yeah, the lady watching talk to me. Talk to me, Mr. Pervert. Get it on, me darling. What are you asking me, sweetie? What? Don't talk to me anymore, Daddy. Don't What you talking about, Ingram? I can't handle this. What's the weather? Leave the weather, Scott. Like air batteries. She's not air batteries at all. What? Um, excuse me, gentlemen. I'd appreciate if you don't genderize me. I'm here to do a job. It doesn't matter if I'm male or female or anything else. Thank you. She's talking about people's genitals there. No, oh, you idiot. Now, for something different on the show. Alright there. So, as you can gather, we're doing the Marina Wars and we're getting vehicles. And now I'm going to go for the most popular vehicle in any movie history of all. Yeah, the famous vehicle in death rates and here's a clip as you'll see on the corner of your screen and then the other guys you don't need to listen to them just pay attention to the clip death rays a epic great action movie sold at your local car boot sale from that dodgy geezer what hangs around with Mark Free Cortina. By the epic danger of Dead Race. The story is about my life change when I was accused of actually killing my next door neighbor's hamster. Wrongly convicted, they threw me in jail, but they offered me a deal. If I drive in the dead race, I could win my freedom. All I had to do was win a hundred races. Then I would be free. But the races were epic and dangerous and are very horrible, with bits of cardboard on fire. But I survive by it right now. The, the speed of the car, obviously, I'm going to test in it. But obviously, unfortunately, now I'm going to be doing some horrible to it and entering it in the Marina Wars. So, never mind that. It's me. And yes, I'm going to go in my you know, in my garage. But obviously, you can see that I got my nice golden cars and um. Uh, well, one thing what looks a bit funny is my pickup truck, but it looks really nice. But the um, saddest thing I have to do with this vehicle is um, actually, you know, you, you know, take it into the marina wards because I'm not having that Captain Pervert getting all the limelight. So it, it's nice, it's nice to drive. I know it's not like my Christine, but, you know, it's not bad. I, I, I'm starting to get into vehicles, and um, it's very nice. 
as long as my mum don't know about it and all that lot. And yeah, it, it, it's luxurious and golden and shiny, and that's what I like about it. So here I am going to deliver it. So I really appreciate you all nice and looking forward to my lovely um, video and seeing how great I am and how brilliant I am. And I am absolutely superb in everything in the whole wide world. So thank you. For Let's get back to the original video. What? Ran out of time to interview Captain Pervert due to Captain Gorgeous. I mean, you're the man who's bending me and all that lot. Now, dare you, damn little tea drinking, little sniveling, little burger, you damn gone there. It's just like that overgrown gorilla fella what presented that other cap roll down, crying his little wee little eyes out because. All you little ideas are all dried up. It's damn, damn right those Americans take over the capital now. Because we are the ones who created the car to be a legend and all that lot. So you sniveling snot-nosed little winch bag. You want to shut up, you little filthy little English, little moaning little grop bag, you ass. Damn right, you should. You're so great USA with no great in it, unlike my home country. At least we don't fake the moon landing, have false Area 51 reports to create tourism, high budget stores that hemorrhage money, America isn't the richest nation it's, it's always borrowing, it's well known for its violence, social injustice and poverty to the masses where people can't afford basic health care. Most of your technological advances are from European sources. You're the only country more successful than Nazis that succeed in at genocide of Native Americans. And your country is just full of rust bucket unsafe cars in bands. Plus you have Logan Paul as a successful YouTuber showing what an arrogant nation you are so don't give me that patriotic speech that it's overdone in your films. And all I hear is ungrateful colonists that clearly don't study their own history and current social issues before interfering in other nations' politics. And you had a apartheid system in place long after Lincoln, your so-called favourite president, tried to make all men equal. And you keep forgetting Captain Gorgeous Carr is American as well. And your language is English, but you keep trying to spell things wrong. Either get your own language or learn English properly. I think this woman's on the rag or something, because uh, why is trying to insult me? That ain't gonna work. Well, I'm a damn gone America, and I'm damn gone proud of it. Not like you snuffy nose crybabies. No, we're not. You definitely had a crybaby. Yeah, don't you think he's throwing no money like that? I ain't, but you're all a little bunch of little wusses. Faggots. American, watch that flow video. I don't care about your lame attempt to genuise me because you don't have a real intelligent comeback like most Americans. Now, before any more time is wasted, I need to ask you some more serious questions. Hey, we're still the greatest. I mean, look at the great images what I were seeing. I mean, what the hell? You, you're definitely on the rag, woman. I mean, you're trying to insult me. I can't have you insulting my dung on intelligence. I mean, we're the greatest. We're the smartest. We even gave you the satisfaction of the Dangong industry of the Dangong V8 engine. We give you the motor car. And it's time for us to actually give you a decent Dangong cap road up. You tried that, sir, and it flopped. What do you mean? Hey, hey, hey. We got our American presenter and he's the best one, isn't he? And out of all of you lot. 
Oh yeah. From an outdated sitcom that nobody cares about and it was badly written even for the 90s, sir. Yeah, you, you tell him, tell him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and another thing, yeah, I just realised, it ain't Captain Gorgeous. It's American Car. So I do we know it's not up to do with you? Acting all big and proud. Sounds like you're a bit of a suspect and all. Yeah, ask him all the questions. Yeah, I said he's blaming me with the different shade of red card. I keep telling you. Sir, it's the shame oh, red. <laughs> That's right, you little wee little crybaby. Well, I mean, what's she on about with fake the move? We gave you the damn gone iPod. You can't fake the moon, it's a natural satellite, sir. You can fake the landing on the moon. You're only number one for education because 70% of your students come from Asia. So I wouldn't boast about your homegrown, privileged, rebelling European descendant that you are. You're successful at capitalism and war. That's why your country's slogan is land of the free and the brave to enlist and consume. Cars and iPods doesn't make up for lack of culture and sophistication. Now I need to get back to the matter at hand, as you clearly have a motive to prove American supremacy over the best automatic show when most of the presenters are English and Irish. So where was you American guy when these murders took place? Damn woman, I don't need a damn gun answer you to a damn gun woman. Us damn Americans, hey, I'm driving the greatest automobile of all. A damn gun American vehicle. Yes. Sir, you're driving a crack LAPV, which is built by your sophisticated, polite and modest neighbours, Canada who also own as twice as many guns as the US but without the high number of casualties and crime down to your national attitude of people like yourself. Again, where was you during the times of the murders? Woman, I don't have to answer that. And don't you insult my insurgent. That's the damn gone feral bread of American muscle. And he's not one of them little pops of little, what, next door neighbour to us, but he... Never mind! Hey! What do you mean you're trying to wait? You're trying to accuse me? Hey, you got this sniveling little crybaby over here! And it's this damn gone vehicle! And he must be the killer! No, he ain't me! I can't tell you the different shade of red! Oh, that's it! They're going, you damn gone cry! Does you think you got this damn gone woman asking me damn gone questions? Trying to pull me up and twist it on me? Hey, I know where the damn gone whereabouts I was. I was too busy going somewhere burning bits of wood in someone's garden. Stop deflecting my investigation onto Captain Gorgeous, as you're not giving me a straight you're answer. Hey, you know, I don't have to damn gone listen to this. You, you, I mean... You need, need a help on this damn gone program. You need a good fellow up. bred What's damn so gone American. Hey, well well bred and well built with cheeseburgers and damn gone everything with she. French fries. Right. Well, they shouldn't go no, no, French anyhow. Like they shouldn't call it American fries. Yeah, because it's us. Because it's us, well, guess your oil. I mean, oh, I don't want to. Yeah, but you want to. Oh, so, I hamburgers, mean, cheeseburgers are German for starters, you know, and French fries, well, that's self explanatory. The oh, French. Yeah, oh, no. Go on, give him some stuff. However, if you don't yeah. want to talk to me, that's your right to remain silent, but I would recommend that you get legal representation as soon as possible, because you won't be able to avoid this matter. Hey, hey, we, we invented the law! I sure we did, yeah! For example, specific, pure, civil jury of us. Now, 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 you get me all damn gone confused now, now, woman. Now, now, you shouldn't be talking to me like that at all. Sir, but what you mean she is, some damn gone hussy? I don't appreciate being called a hussy, sir. Yeah, well, you, you sound like one. I mean, with your fancy snoochy-tooty talking and all that damn gone like... 
So I don't have Snooty Doo to talk, I'm just talking in plain English, which you currently can't do, can and you? I'm talking good. Well, I'll tell you what, I talk a few foot damn darn American, alright? There's no such language, sir. There it is. Lock it up in the American Dictionary. I think we reinvent. Yeah, there it is. The closest thing to an American dictionary is the Oxford Dictionary, and I don't mean New Oxford, I mean Old Oxford, which is in England. Yeah, we're moving with the damn gone times. Things are brand new now, and that's what we like. Like your popsy country, York. Well, we like New York, yeah, because it's new. Everything's got to be new. So, not new popsy English, everything's so old and... Cause you're all hardens over there, aren't you? Damn woman. I'm sorry. Sir, if you like things so brand new when you went over there into the new world, how come you called everything after the old world, like Halifax, New Wales, New York? You named everything out everything that you left behind. So you're not that new, are you? We're at, we were by, we were born here, and I live here, and I don't, I know better than everything that you love in that damn god popsy little island. Just like this damn gun game. Hey, this game's based on America, not you lot. And you claiming it was the British when you invented this damn gun game? Well, I ain't having it. Well, for once, sir, you're right. It's not a British game, it's Scottish. Damn gun mean that.